Hi and welcome everyone to our lesson in uh, wind course. In this lesson, we are going to learn the equation for the power extracted from the wind turbines. So in the previous lesson, we obtained the equation for the power obtained from uh, the wind or the kinetic energy or the power available inside the wind. Okay, now we would like to get an equation for the power uh, extracted from the wind itself okay or power produced by the wind turbines so first you have to understand that our turbine our wind turbine cannot take all of the power in the wind stream of course the wind has a kinetic energy and passes through the wind turbine so some of this kinetic energy will be transferred to the wind turbine Okay, and the rest will go away. The rest of the wind will go away with another velocity. Now, if our wind turbine extracted all of the wind power, it means the molecules of air will be standing here. Okay. So when the wind stream passes through the turbine, only just a portion or a fraction of the kinetic energy of this wind stream is passed to the rotor and the rest leaves the turbine carrying the rest of this energy now the power taken by the turbine power of the turbine is equal to half rho which is the density of air multiplied by area which is the area of the turbine uh, multiplied by v or the velocity of wind stream to cube multiplied by a power coefficient okay cp which are representing the efficiency or power efficiency it means the ratio between the power taken by the turbine to the total power available in air so the area here the area is the area of the turbine okay so the larger the area of the turbine the more energy or more kinetic energy it will be extracted from the wind stream Okay, and the area of the wind turbine is simply the swept area, which is pi r square, or pi over 4 d square, where d is the diameter. The power coefficient, which is cb, depends on many factors, such as the profile of the rotor plates, blade arrangement and setting, and many other factors. Okay. So, cb is simply the ratio between the power of the turbine divided by the power available in wind which is half rho a turbine the area of the turbine multiplied by v cube okay two here half here goes up here becomes two okay so simply like this c b which is the efficiency is equal to the power absorbed by the turbine divided by the power available in wind okay so cp representing the efficiency the amount of power which we have taken from our uh, wind so let's say for example if we have an efficiency cp of uh, 0.5 for example it means that the power of the turbine taken by the turbine or absorbed by the turbine is equal 0.5 of the power available in wind so it means that our turbine took 50 percent of the wind energy now let's say for example i would like to get the power which is going to uh, after the generator from the wind power available to, from the wind converted it to the power going from the generator to the transmission system or the uh, transformer so the power as we remember the output power the total output power final output power is equal to half rho multiplied by area of the turbine which is pi r square or the swept area which we discussed before multiplied by cb which is a power efficiency okay or power coefficient and we have velocity cube okay so this part this part of rho pi r square cb and v cube representing the power from the wind after absorbed by the uh, wind turbines we will have the power here b of the turbine power of the turbine okay which is half rho pi r square multiplied by cp multiplied by vq okay 
Now we have a gearbox system. Okay. So this gearbox has efficiency. Okay. This efficiency of the gearbox is called NB. Okay. So the power going to the generator, power input to the generator will be equal to B generator. Okay. Let's say B generator, which means power coming from the gearbox going to the generator is equal to NB, the efficiency of the gearbox multiplied by B turbine. Okay. Now our generator itself has an efficiency, efficiency of NG. So the power coming from final power coming from the generator is equal to the BG, B output, final output is equal to BG, okay, multiplied by the generator efficiency. Okay, so as you can see, we have how many efficiency we have the generator efficiency, we have the gearbox efficiency, and we have the wind turbine efficiency. Okay, so as you can see, we have uh, the power here, this power, okay, power of the turbine multiplied by efficiency of the gearbox multiplied by efficiency of the generator. Okay, will give us the output power. Okay, this is all of our factors. Okay, you can see generator efficiency, gearbox efficiency, power coefficient. Okay, so one final value which is CF or called the capacity factor. You will find the capacity factor in every uh, application such as uh, solar energy and other renewable sources of energy. Now, what does a capacity factor mean? It means that the actual output power or output energy, okay, energy since it is megawatt hour, the actual output energy from the wind energy turbine system, okay, in a complete year divided by 365 days, 24 hours multiplied by the rated capacity of this wind turbine system, the ratio of these uh, two gives us the capacity factor. Now, what does this mean? The capacity factor equal to, for example, 20%. Okay, this is an actual example. Now, what does the 20% mean? It means that if our turbine, if our turbine working at rated capacity, let's say, for example, this is one megawatt, working one megawatt, for 24 days, uh, 24 hours, for 365 days in the year, okay, we will not have except 20% of this amount, okay, so if it is operating whole year, we will have this uh, value, okay, however, in practical, we have only uh, a certain amount of this, why, because the wind turbine, sometimes we have maintenance, Sometimes we have uh, low wind speed, so we don't generate the rated power and so on. So there are many factors which can affect the operation of this wind turbine, leading to the capacity factor of, for example, 20%. So in the whole year, we only operate 20% at the rated capacity of this year. Okay, that's why we added CF or the capacity factor to our uh, equation okay now the generator efficiency of course so if we know the generator we are installing we will know its efficiency the uh, nb or the uh, efficiency of the gearbox of course we know it from the mechanical system uh, the density of air okay can be measured r the radius of the rotor is the design value of the radius uh, cp CB, we don't know CP, the capacity factor depends on the actual installation of this wind turbine and measuring it for several years, okay? So the only coefficient which we cannot obtain is the CP or the power coefficient, which are representing how much energy extracted by the wind turbines from wind, okay? So in the next lesson, we will learn about CP and how can we get the maximum value?